What's up everybody, it's Stas here, welcome back to another video. As you guys read in the title of this video, I just wanted to go over the top three stocks that I'm currently trading, and pretty much I want to map out my plan for you guys with these three stocks that I'm currently in for this week. And for those of you guys that are new to my channel, my name is Stas, I pretty much make videos on YouTube dealing with investing in the stock market, swing trading, day trading, long term investing philosophies, and my strategies in the stock market. So if you guys are interested in anything dealing with that, feel free to drop a like, leave a comment, and subscribe, and let's get started with this video. So the first ETF that I'm invested in, this one's an ETF, it's a silver-based ETF, and this one is DSLV, and this is the bear ETF, so pretty much what that means, guys, is whenever silver goes down, and for those of you guys that don't know, these uh, two ETFs in USLV and DSLV, they're inverse ETFs, and they trade based upon slash SI, which I was just on before, and this is the silver future, and I took a position in and DSLV today, pretty much because I was seeing silver approaching the resistance level of about $16.80. I think it actually even passed above it. Yeah, it actually broke above it. It hit highs of about $16.90. Yeah, about $16.91. And from there, guys, we saw a huge pullback to about $16.73 where it's at right now. And I was able to take a position right around like $16.85. That's where the gold futures were or the silver futures were, excuse me. And how that correlates over to DSLV. We can see here, guys, as silver futures were at about $16.91, DSLV here was at about $22.65. If we look a little bit closer here to the one-day, one-minute chart, yeah, we see here it fell down all the way to about $22.65. That's when silver futures were at about $16.90, like I said before. I was able to take a position in DSLV today as silver bounced below about $16.85, and I was able to get in at about $23 on this particular ETF. And I'm still holding this one. I think I'm in with about $2,000 right now. And I do plan on adding more to my position if silver continues this downtrend that it's on right now from that resistance level we saw at about $16.90. So that's the first trade that I made. And pretty much I'm planning on holding this one until silver, you know, gets closer to that support level that we saw at about $16.15, I believe. We see the there's a common pattern here with these silver futures, guys. We see the common resistance at about $16.15. And we see the common, or the, excuse me, the common support at about $16.15. The common resistance at about $16.83. So I bought in close to the resistance level, hoping that futures will go down, or the silver futures will go down back to about $16.15 and 20 cents that's my goal with this particular trade so the second etf that i took a position in today was labu and labu is another inverse etf its inverse is labd and these two trade based upon sps ibi which is a biotechnology s p biotechnology industry index and pretty much how this works guys whenever this index is going up in price labu is going up in price as well whenever it's going down in price labd is going down in price and what we can notice here guys if we look a little bit closer on this SPS IBI uh, biotechnology index is that it's on an ascending uptrend pattern. And what that means, guys, is pretty much trading above the EMA line is trading above the 50 day SMA line as well as the 180 day SMA line. And it's continuing to make higher highs. We can see here, guys, here bottomed off, right? made a higher high here, here bottomed off again, made another higher high. And now we're seeing some strong consolidation at about 74 to $7,500 according to this particular index. And how this correlates over to LABU, if we look back over here, we see that, okay, LABU is topping off at about $105 as that index was making higher highs. Then we saw that nice big pullback to about $96. And that's where I saw potential in LABU. As you know, it started to bounce above that $96 you know, that $96 price point, and it was hovering above the 200, or excuse me, the 180 day SMA line. And it was still above the 50 day SMA line. If we look over to the 180 day chart, yeah, we can see here, guys, and we see a green candlestick start to form there, uh, you know, right above the 50 day SMA line. So this stock or this ETF rather is still up trending, and I'm treating this as a dip buy. And I actually got in with about $2,000 again, same, you know, same position size as DSLV. I got in at about $98, and if we looked at this 10-day chart here, we saw, okay, today, today, uh, 
LEBU got down to about $96, $97, and I actually got in at about $98, like I said, and I plan on holding LEBU for a couple of days with a goal exit of about $103.50 to about $104 per share, and I, and I do plan on adding more money into LABU if it continues this uptrend pattern and if it actually does bounce above the 180-day SMA line and it holds above the 180-day SMA line. So that's why <clears throat> pretty much I'm trading LABU and that's what I'm doing pretty much with LABU in this week. And the last one we're talking about today is McDonald's. And McDonald's, I'm doing very well on uh, so far. I think I made a video last week talking about trading McDonald's. And I'm actually holding McDonald's more as a long-term investment as I made a video yesterday talking about why you should buy McDonald's in 2018. So uh, pretty much McDonald's went up $7 today, about 4%. And I made a video last week talking about why I was trading McDonald's. And I got in at about $160. And I do plan on adding more into this position, you know, as McDonald's stock continues to go up, as more news surrounding the company you know, continues to go in a positive direction. So we see here, guys, it's at $169 right now, a huge spike up. And let's show you guys where I got into this particular stock. We saw some nice consolidation from about $158 to about $160. If we look over here to the 20-day chart, yeah, exactly what I'm talking about. 165 here, then it went down to 158 you know, back to 163 here. So we can see a common channel, a common support level from about 158 to 160. And looking back to the 180 day chart, McDonald's is on an ascending uptrend pattern right now. And we treated this drop from 180 to 146 more as a dip buy. And as you know, McDonald's has been forming higher highs and higher lows. It's confirmed that, you know, this stock is on an ascending uptrend pattern. And we could see here, guys, pretty much based off this trend line that I drew. Actually, let me just erase this and draw it better for you guys move drawing we can see McDonald's is pretty much still continuing on this uptrend pattern as it just bounced here at about 160 and we see here it's lows of 146 right for you for those of you guys that don't understand what an uptrend pattern is it's pretty much creating higher highs higher lows we see the here the low is at about 146 another low at about 155 and it just bounced at 160 and uh, pretty much this is another confirmed low point as it shot up all the way to 170 and we can see clearly guys that this stock is actively uptrending and from where I got in at 160, guys, I'm currently up about 6% on this particular position. And like I said earlier, I am not looking to trade this one anytime soon as I do believe in McDonald's as a long-term hold. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to drop a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. The link is down below in the description. I post everything there from my profits, updates to my channel, personal life, and just pretty much random stuff that I'm doing throughout the day. So if you guys want to follow me on there, feel free to do so. Again, make sure to do your own due diligence when you're doing anything dealing with the stock market, trading, swing trading, day trading, long-term investing. Make sure you're doing the research on your own, understanding why you're buying a stock, understanding why you're selling a stock, and understanding the whole plan that goes into you know becoming a successful stock market investor. So hopefully everybody out there is crushing their goals and killing their dreams. Let's make some money today, guys. Peace.